Hello, my crafty friends. We're going to do a um, document a document envelope out of this. And this is a fairly sturdy manila envelope. And what we're going to do is um, we're just going to go ahead and glue it shut. But we want to leave it open inside. So we want to just glue, you know, along here so that it won't um, get in there. And... We don't want things glued shut because we want it to be a pocket. Okay. I'm going to push out towards the edge so if any glue seeps, hopefully it will seep that direction and not into our envelope. And then we want to um, trim off just a little bit at the top, just enough to make an opening. Oops, didn't quite, didn't quite make it. Okay. Now the next thing we want to do is decide how much a flap we're going to have. And I think I want a kind of a generous flap, so we're going to fold it fold it over where we want our flap to be I'm really loving using this as a bone folder because it's perfect to put my finger right there and um, and work I'm glad I bought it thrift store fine for a dollar <laughs> um, okay now I'm going to Cut right down to that line on each side and try to cut as much on that fold as I can. And I'll have to trim a little bit because I wasn't perfect at it. Okay, I'm going to have to do a little bit of trimming here, too, if I can. Okay. Okay, now we've got this fold that comes over. And this is where we're going to put our rings. And what I did was I cut, this is kind of a, a heavy card stuff. Um, so I cut two circles out of that. And then I cut two out of this. And this is um, some doily um, scrapbook paper. And that's what I want to use, make my little rings to go here and here. So we're going to decorate this, then we'll come back and we'll put those on and tie our string around it. But that's how we're going to turn this envelope into a document folder. And I've got my extra, I, this is a one inch punch. So I'm, I'm guessing this is kind of a three quarter inch circle. That's what it looks like to me. And I think one inch is too big, but if that's all you've got, use it. It's not that big of a deal. And I'm going to put these aside and get them out of the way. Oops, there's another one. Okay, we don't need that. Okay. This is the hole punch that I used to get that three-quarter inch circle. Um, you, you might have a three-quarter inch hole punch, then you wouldn't have to worry about it. But this is what I used. It is an EK brand. Okay. Now, I want to make this pretty here. And um, I think I'm probably going to, no, I'm going to leave it optional whether to glue it down or not. So we may go ahead and decorate the back. I mean, why not? Then we could really use it by itself. Um, it's not really a waste if you're using scraps to decorate it anyway. <laughs> and I'm going to use scraps. So, But there's where you would slide your document in. Okay, so let's go ahead and decorate it. And so, um, let me find some scraps. 
I think I'm going to use my, let's see what I've got in my medium sized scrap box here. Because this is kind of big enough you would want. Well, that's pretty. Let's see if we've got other things that will go with that. Oh, that's pretty too, but it doesn't really go with that. Not really. I may change my mind because I'm not finding stuff that really goes with that. Or we may make it more. Well, let's just pull some things and then we can decide. That map would go okay with it. Or the music paper. There's some scrapbook paper, some different flowers. So I may choose different flowers. Let's see. Oh, maybe. That'll look pretty with it. I could actually use both of those. So let's concentrate on that and get rid of those flowers and we could use some of that um, it's scrapbook paper but I don't like that with it that's possible don't like that don't like that Okay, let's see if we can find a few more things because I want to have options. I like options. What about this? No. Maybe this? No. Maybe that. Maybe. We'll leave it out there and we'll, we'll see. Maybe this? Ooh, yeah, that'll go. Okay. We've also got this that might go better than that. Oh, I like this. We make let's do some of these butterflies. That'll be cute. This is why you keep what you when you punch things out of jelly prints or whatever, hold on to them. You might want to stick them on. I don't. know how I feel about this being as straight as it is down there though. Okay. There we go. And then I think this might be pretty on the back if we do something that's not um, not real complicated then I won't feel as much like I need to preserve it <laughs> just in case I decide I want to glue it down somewhere. Let's see if we've got anything else here that'll go well with that. No, don't like any of those. How about that? Okay. 
Okay, we'll play with those three for that side. Let's just do it first because I'm, I'm less ambiguous about it. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and tear the side. In the bottom. And if this goes here, we need to tear it a little bit too. Oh, actually, let's tear the top. And then... right there okay so now we've got this piece the size we're going to use we've added that under there and let's stick this here take off the flat <coughs> I think I'm going to take off a little bit, yeah, a little bit more of this. So we can kind of show some of that. Okay, I do think, since I've got everything else raggedy on the edges, um, I'm going to do this side. I don't want to take off very much, and that's always harder to do. Almost got it here. Okay. Well, I might like this better. Let's see. Yeah, I think so. Okay, I don't want that white on there, though. So we're going to go ahead and make it not white. I'm sure this doesn't really need to be inked. But we're going to do it anyway because it makes me feel better. And then this one. A lot of it's not even going to show, but anyway. We're going to start with this and glue it down. Okay, and now this one. I'm 
most important areas to be sure to get are around the edges of papers like this. So. got this piece okay there's the back of it I like that and now we need to do this flap right here I wonder if the butterflies will fit on there I'm not sure I can do that with any level of success unless I do it straight <coughs> and then if we put this um, I don't know what I think about that let's do some of this Let's put that up there. Turn it this way so it's at least going the right way. Okay, looks good. We've got white edges, so we definitely need to ink this one up. More ink is more better, so we're going to do it. Because I like it. Alrighty. Okay, one thing I want to do is um, make a opening right here that will be easier to get something in than that straight across. Let's we'll see if we've got a... I don't know if this will fit in there. I don't think the bigger one would, so we'll use this one. Let's see if we can... We're just going to do it. Oh, not too bad. Okay. I should have waited until I covered it. So we may have to come back and do it again. <laughs> I'll leave that out because I should have waited till I had whatever on here I'm going to put on here. But I wasn't thinking about that. Wasn't thinking about that. And I do want to round these corners while I'm thinking about it. Uh, 
Okay. And I want to put some of this and some of this and some of that because they all go with this. Now, I don't know about these yet. Let's, um, okay. We're going to start with this. Take a little bit more off here. Make it a little bit straighter. <coughs> Let's go ahead and look at doing this. Well, see, that's why you use that tearing ruler, because <laughs> if you don't, you can't go across a straight edge here. Okay. I'm just going to put that there. I'm gonna put this here. And... Um, Let's go ahead and do some of this darker color. We can put this like that. Okay, I thought I was going to leave a straight edge on some of these, but for some reason, I'm just not liking straight edges tonight. So I'm going to go ahead and um, tear them. Okay, let's go back here. Make sure you can see. Sorry about that. Like that. And then up here. Maybe some of that. Let's move this here. Maybe some of this. Okay, let's try some of that. See how far we're going. it more like this. Okay, I think
think we're going to go something like that, and then we're going to put the butterflies right up here. Maybe like that. I don't know. Let's get this other stuff on there first, and then we'll decide. A lot of times I go ahead and do the edges even though they're not supposed to be seen because every once in a while it doesn't cover up as much as you think it's going to and then you wish you had inked better. So I tend to over ink rather than under ink just in case. <laughs> Okay. And we're going to start with this one. This one, and that one, let's go back up here a little bit more. Okay. Audition twice, blue once. <laughs> As you never know, you might have forget which order you put it in. Of course, sometimes you do that anyway, and then you just kind of go with it. And sometimes that ends up being a good thing, because what you did first maybe wasn't as good as what you did last, so... But sometimes it's disappointing when you realize that you really intended to do something else. Uh-oh. I almost glued that pocket shut right there. Because this goes over my little spot and I had glue there. Be careful, be careful. Okay, and then we've got this piece, 
that we're going to take right across here. Trying to leave, leave that spot open. Oh, except I did it backwards. <laughs> okay. Let's take some of that off. Put it up here. Okay. Yeah. Okay, no glue there. We're good. Okay, now I'm going to see if I can get my punch back in there and repunch that. Okay, oh dear. Okay, there we go. Not too bad. Not too bad. Okay. Now let's see what we want to do about the butterflies. I think for right now, I'm just going to stick the butterflies inside and then I'll decide what I want my focal point to be in September, along with all the other stuff. Okay. I'm going to put this right here and see if I can punch a hole with it right there. I've never tried to do that before. Okay, it's not perfectly centered, but we're going to go with it. <laughs> Let's get an eyelid out. Maybe a flower. Okay. I'm trying to remember now which ones you use. Uh, I don't know where my instructions are. Yeah, let's see what other choices we got. Okay, no, that's the big one. Okay, we're just going to go with this one and hope I'm right because Okay, obviously I was not right Because that did not work Okay, it's not great, but I made it work, so um, maybe I can do a better job <laughs> on this one. If I can get my thing down there, I don't know. wasn't thinking about how far I would have to go with this. Hmm. Well, let's see. Let's see how far I can get that under there. Okay. 
may be too far, but we're going to just go with it because... Okay. <laughs> oh, this is not going to work. I think for this one I'm going to use a brad because I can't get to the other side to um to crimp it. So you got to think about those things. I didn't think about those things in advance, so Oh, I'm going to glue this too. Okay. Now we'll put the bread in there. <clears throat> Okay, so obviously I had a few issues with this, <laughs> and it's not even straight. <laughs> oh, maybe you'll do a better job than I did. Okay, but we're going to call it good, because the idea is good. The our execution was not so great. <laughs> Let me get a piece of string, and we'll... We would call her done. Okay, we're going to use this little bit of leather cord. No, we're not because it's too fat. I'm just batting a thousand, aren't I? We'll try again. Okay, I got a little piece of ribbon. And, um, and we're just going to go around here like this with this ribbon. And we're going to call it good. Anyway, I bet y'all can all, since you've seen all the things I made, messed up on, y'all can come up with something a little better. I think the Brad idea works fine. Um, but the island idea in here won't work unless you open this up. So, I didn't want to open it up. Anyway, there we are. And there's our, our document folder, and I've got my butterflies in there for later. Anyway... It was a fun thing to do with an envelope. Get out some envelopes and play. God bless you. Bye-bye.